This new package today that I have just signed with my French counterpart, the French Interior Minister, effectively doubles the number of police on the French beaches. It invests in more technology, so more surveillance, more radar technology that supports a law enforcement effort. And on top of that, we are now sharing in terms of toughening up our border security. So on the French side in particular, they are now focused on strengthening their border security because we are seeing fewer migrants now in small boats, but we're seeing displacement into other areas such as lorries. And so as a result, this is a joint effort, as all our efforts have been. Our two countries stand shoulder to shoulder when it comes to dealing with illegal migration. But we are now looking not just at the strategy, but the type of tactical interventions that our two countries can undertake together. Well, first of all, we have seen exponential numbers this year. That is a fact. And there are a number of reasons for that. First of all, the weather has been good over the summer, and we've, we've seen that and we know that. But secondly, we should not lose sight of the fact that illegal migration exists for one fundamental reason. That is because there are criminal gangs, people traffickers, facilitating this trade. Now, that speaks to a range of other issues around law enforcement, but also our broken asylum system, which I'm committed to changing and fixing. And I've spoken already about legislation that will be coming forward next year. But on top of that, we have seen over the summer the cost, the cost that people traffickers have been charging has absolutely gone down. So people are putting their lives at risk. And sadly, we have seen fatalities this year in the channel. And we, need, we have to stop that. We have to stop people's lives being put at risk. And you ask about displacement and people going into lorries. We have seen that already. That is a familiar tactic that has been used by people traffickers over the years. And you've also spoken about the £150 million that actually the British government has given to the French government over the last 10 years. That actually brought in more border security when you look at the Channel Tunnel, the greater fencing that was put in when Theresa May was Home Secretary. Then if you remember the jungle camp clearances under another one of my predecessors, under Amber Rudd. And then when you look at the Sandhurst Treaty under Sajid Javid, those component parts have all dealt with illegal migration in very different ways. We are now looking at the tactical approaches that both the French Interior Minister and I as Home Secretary are bringing in to absolutely go after the traffickers by using law enforcement tools and obviously to make sure that we stop the loss of life at sea that we have seen this year.